So now have you found yourself yeah. working more that you have time at home or less? I mean, for me in the beginning it was less, but now I feel like I'm working more. I don't know. I think since quarantine started, I like to say I work more, but I've also been watching more Grey's Anatomy. So I don't really know. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe a little balance of both, less and more work. Okay. Maybe okay. more procrastinating. I do feel like, you know, like we said, everything really stopped with COVID, but the one thing that didn't stop mm -hmm. for you was using your platform for good. You are probably one of my favorite YouTubers because you're always Aww, using thank you. your platform for good. Um, so how has that been for you, especially, you know, during times like these with coronavirus mm -hmm. and, you know, racial inequality and things like that? How have you been using your platform? Um, I think just, it's just me just speaking about things that are really um, near and dear to my heart. I never really, I'm like, I'm a brand. I must post this. Blah, 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 blah. Like, I just, I don't know if something is near and dear to my heart and I feel like um i can affect people or inform people then that would be great and i can just post about it i know you have a song called spf 50 that you've been teasing on Instagram. Mm -hmm. can you talk to us a little yeah. bit yeah <laughs> <laughs> um spf 50 i have been working on this music since i think november of last year like normally okay. for me at least when i record a vlog i send it to my editor that night and it goes up the day after so having music since november is like ah, i yeah. want to release it so bad but music is just so different from youtube where it's like i have like my pr girl and like we set up these interviews and like uh -huh. everything is like all hyped up and like i have to wait so long to apply for playlisting it's like so so much that comes with music um but i'm so excited for this to come out i showed this to my girlfriends and they're like adeline this is our favorite song that you've ever made and i'm like ah. i don't know i think i'm just excited um, just to see people's reactions because for me music isn't about the money music is just about connecting with people like when i went through my breakup i went to music and i was like listening to the lyrics and i didn't realize that i felt that way but i did and music is just very healing it, you just know that you're not alone when you're listening to music and you just i don't know i think music is very, very special in that way so i'm just excited for people that listen to my music and maybe go through what i went through and connect or whatever of yeah, course. of course. And now what's, what's the song about? I mean, when I saw your Instagram post, it looks like all you girls are out lounging on lounging <laughs> chairs. Nice fun summer <laughs> song. So tell us what, yeah. what you expect from it. Um, it's a fun summer song. Okay. I know that it's coming out at like the end of summer, which is, but we'll still bop to it to summer. I think it's just okay. a fun summer song. And I think, I mean, I haven't really said this anywhere, but it's kind of like, break up with your boyfriend, you're a bad bitch, like, <laughs> that kind of vibe. Okay. I like, it. Yeah. I like it. And did you guys film a video for it by any chance? Um, I haven't filmed it yet, but I'm, we're going to be filming soon. Okay. And I know mm -hmm. you're really creative when it comes to your music videos, because we actually had some of our girls out on your Girls Supporting Girls set back last year. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh-huh. Oh, yes, yeah, love Secrets. I remember, I remember, I remember. Yeah. Oh. So yeah. what are you thinking? What, what are you thinking about for the music video? Have you have you planned anything yet? Yeah, we have this whole storyboard planned. I don't want to give too much away okay. because we haven't filmed yet, but um, we're filming here in Toronto um, and I'm just really excited about it. I have my new director. I've never used her before, so I'm a little bit nervous, okay. but I'm really excited. I have really high hopes. We're going to have like choreography and it's just going to be very summer vibes, good vibes. Oh, um, that's yeah. fun. <laughs> now, I know that you're gonna have an EP too. So now is this mm -hmm. the first taste of the EP that's coming? Yeah. And if so, what can you tell mm -hmm. us about, you know, the whole process? Everything is super strategic. Okay. I'm not used to this. Normally I make something and I just like, it. like put it out on the internet, but everything yeah. is super strategic. We have a couple singles um, going up before the EP. I'm thinking around three um, okay. and yeah, every single song is just like a little taste of what you're gonna get with the EP. Um, and it's my first, my debut EP, so I'm really excited for people to listen to it and um, just like connect to the music. But yeah, I think this song is very happy and then we have some sad songs. We have just like a mix of everything. And what's been like the fan feedback so far with music? Cause I know you've released a few songs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everyone's been super excited. I think for the most part, but they don't realize what I've been putting out is a little bit different than what I'm going to be putting out okay. now. Okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> I have like little surprises everywhere. <laughs> because I know you have this song called Nobody Cares About Your Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, okay, that was, that was like a parody song. <laughs> Like when I first heard about that, I was like, "Wait, wait hold on!" Wait. A bop, but like that's bop in a way. What? What is this? <laughs> um, that I think we recorded that about like a year ago. Okay. I just kind of had it in my drafts, and I was like, "You know what? It's quarantine. Everyone's bored. Everyone's scrolling on Instagram, bored." I'm like, "You know what?" nobody cares about your Instagram like it could just be a fun song and I just released it and had like a fun little music video to come with it I literally I don't know how much I probably spent like $15 on the music video for the McDonald's and maybe like my outfit whatever like <laughs> it was just like a fun music video a fun quarantine video and um I don't know hopefully people were able to bop to it in their rooms during <laughs> quarantine <laughs> but we know that it's not similar to what you're going to be putting out <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So different, so different. Do we have a release date for the EP yet? Are you thinking like next year? That's what I. That's what I feel like by what you're by what you're saying. <sighs> so, it was actually supposed to come out now, wow. but with everything going on and like music, especially music, is such a long process with the release time. So I think it's not for sure yet, but we're looking at October. Um, mm -hmm. But we're gonna have singles leading up to the EP. Okay. Okay. Exciting. Mm -hmm. Exciting. And and how is the content coming now? What are we going to expect from vlogs or maybe other videos on your YouTube channel? Is there things that we can look forward to? Um, I've been dropping little sneak peeks in my vlogs and stuff like that, little sprinkles. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just going back to my normal upload schedule. I've been uploading a little bit more on my vlogs and okay. my main channel videos. I've been feeling like super inspired with YouTube recently. So yeah, just also watch out for YouTube and vlogs. <laughs> and you know, you have so many things coming up besides this music. You have a wildflower case deal and you also have an alcohol deal, which I thought was like really cool. Can you talk to us about those deals and what we could expect and everything? Yeah. Like um, wildflower, I have been talking to for a couple months now. They were like, do you want to have a phone case with us? And I was like, <gasps> Yes. You guys want to work with me? Like, you want to work, why do you want to work with me? You can work with so many cool people. Yes. Um, but yeah, I have it on my phone right now, but it's going to be coming out August 14th. Okay. And I'm so excited about it. It's just what you guys all expect, like yellow, like happy, just good vibes. Okay. <laughs> You'll see the phone case. Um, and I'm just like really excited. Even my girlfriend, she was like, Adeline. We both love Wildflower, like, how is this real? Like, we're both obsessed whenever we follow them. We're like, whenever they have a drop, we're like, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that August 14th. And then alcohol, I've never really talked about this before, but um, I don't know. I, Tell us. I, don't know Tell what, us. I don't know what I can say. You could probably answer my question. Is it vodka? Okay. Is it tequila? Is it, what is it? My fans will know this. It's my favorite drink, okay. and I talk about it all the time. Okay. That's all. <laughs> okay. Okay. Have you seen the <laughs> bottle and everything like that? Because that's got to be fun. Yeah. I We're still in the design process, super early stages. Okay. So that's why I don't want to give anything away, because super early stages, I don't want to say something and then it's something else. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm thinking that, you know, you're gonna have this drink with your girlfriends when you when everyone's able to get back together, or have you tried it yet? Oh have yeah, you tried the drink yet? Okay, okay. By the look on your face, <laughs> it's like it's really good. It's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna have to order a bottle and kick back yeah. and drink it myself. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to talk about how you call yourself inter the internet's big sister. <laughs> yeah like it, that's like a lot of pressure do you feel pressure when you call yourself no no I don't feel pressure because I'm a big sister to my sister Celeste and you know like you see your big sister she comes home drunk once in a while she f***s up once in a while but you know at the end of the day like you can always go to her for experience you can go to her for advice like there's never gonna be any judgment and um I don't know I think I think being an inspiration to me is a lot of pressure or being a role model is a lot of pressure because okay. you can never mess up. But being a big sister, I feel like you just 
see your sister go through it. You see your sister do everything, but you know she's always going to be there for you. Of course, of course. And mm -hmm. what are maybe the stories that you've gotten from fans? Because I'm, I'm assuming that, you know, they'll DM you all the time or tweet mm -hmm. you and be like, hey, I'm, yeah. like, like, I'm going through this or I saw you do this. Mm -hmm. well, what's been like a highlight Since for you? Since my um, Stages of a Breakup kind of series on YouTube, yeah. so many of my fans and YouTube friends in real life have been coming up to me. They're like, Adeline, like I just like, I'm going through a breakup right now. Like, what should I do? So many of my friends, I would not expect this, go up to me and they're asking me what to do. And they're like, Adeline, I just see you like thriving after your breakup. Like, I just want to be like you. Like, what should I do? Like, what are things that have helped you get through a breakup? Like, da 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 da. And I'm like, get Why Men Love Bitches book. Don't look at it as a breakup. Look at it as, um, you know, not losing your heart, but putting that love that you put into someone else into yourself yeah. and finding yourself and becoming the best version of yourself. Okay. I think that's what happened to me after my breakup. I feel like I kind of lost myself because we were together for almost like five years. Wow. And throughout this almost year of being single, I've been able to learn so much about myself and um, gain new habits or figure out what I like, like, I don't know, working out, like eating healthy, whatever. Um, so yeah. I think that's the best part of my job is just being be able to like connect with people and I don't know, kind of be a big sister. <laughs> yeah. And how, how's the single life for you? Because I feel like in the beginning of like quarantine, I was like, yeah, I'm on these, all these dating apps. Like, <laughs> this is great. Like all these things. Do you you know, single? Like, what? Sucks. But yeah, it's terrible. you know what? You know what? I think it sucks no matter what, because I was talking to my friends about this. They were like, Adeline, like quarantine life. You get sick of people really easily. And I was like, you know what? Now that I think about it, I think if I was with a person for a week straight, I would want to kill them. Yeah. So I don't know who's winning. Is it the single people or the people that are taken? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, like I said, when this started, I was like, look at this. I went on all the dating apps. I'm like, Wait, exactly. this, this is awesome. Like all these exactly. guys. And then it just went, ah, you can't see them. <laughs> you can't go anywhere. You know? Yeah. You, you, yeah. know, you probably know exactly what I'm saying. Like, I, I, I'm preaching to a choir here. Yeah. <laughs> you're preaching to a choir. <laughs> yeah. And you're such a good reporter. Like, I felt like we're actually friends. Oh, thank you. Thank you.